all people will know that you are my players if you learn how to cheer each other on towards victory. So maybe some of you, like me, have wondered why our sanctuary is not packed out on weekends. Maybe some of you, like me, have wondered why our small groups aren't filled up. Maybe some of you, like me, have wondered why our lobby is not lined up with new folks waiting to get in to Park Lane Church of God. Maybe some of you, like me, have lost a few hours of sleep the last 12 months and wondering why isn't it hard to find a seat around here? Now take heart, because Park Lane is not alone in this journey. According to the three ministerial associations that I'm a part of in this area, all three ministerial associations are dealing with this same question. And they're wondering the same thing. The majority of churches in a 20 mile radius of this zip code have either plateaued or declined. And why is that? Why is that? I suggest this morning to us because they aren't or they can't or they won't effectively reach out for new people. And any smart business owner, and the church is a business after all, folks. I, I, I realize some folks differ with that, but sit in my seat and walk in my shoes a couple of days next week. And I'll show you, it has to be a business. It does have to be one. But any smart business would be asking why or why not? And unfortunately, churches that have become accustomed to a plateau or declining attendance, they don't really know why. They just talk about why not. But I'm thankful to be a part of a program called National Church Development where thousands of churches across the nation are learning how to diagnose what might be wrong on the inside of the walls of that church. In other words, we have made an appointment with Dr. Jesus. Not an ER, thank God. It's a good checkup though. It's an annual. We've made an appointment with Jesus. We've asked 29 people to help us diagnose our vital signs. Churches that are a part of National Church Development are finding out what makes them tick and what's wrong on the inside. Churches that are part of National Church Development are finding great results when they find out what the vital signs are, when they're making the investments to grow more forward by faith and make plans for a healthy ministry through National Church Development. As a matter of fact, the questions that 29 people in this congregation, 30 counting your lead pastor, questions we answered, all 91 of them, dealt with eight different characteristics of a healthy church. I want to show you those characteristics on the big screen. Watch this. We were asked questions that had to do with these eight different characteristics. Let me start at the very top. How holistic are your small groups? How empowering is your leadership? How inspiring are your worship services? Are you meeting the needs of the, your community evangelistically? Are people ministering according to their gifting? Spiritually, how passionate are your people? How effective are your structures? And last, how loving are your relationships? All the questions had to deal with those eight characteristics. So it's a broad spectrum of the life of Park Lane.